Hi, this is Dr. McCord, and I'm going to show you how to work a few integrated rate law problems following first order kinetics. The problem itself is a little three parter here. Uh, basically, it says that dinitrogen pentoxide is going to decompose via first order kinetics with a rate constant of 0.16. I'm going to highlight that because we're going to need that for our calculations. Once it's going to want to know what the half-life is in seconds. It's also going to want to know what the concentration is going to be after two seconds. And I'm going to want to know that initial concentration. I'm going to use that two seconds in my calculations as well. And then the third question is how long will it take to drop to a concentration of 0.00525 molar. And so that will be the fourth piece of information I use to do these calculations. In addition to that, I'm going to pay attention to what is asked for, which is what is the half-life in seconds. That's my first answer. My second answer is what's the concentration after two seconds. And then the last question is how long will it take, which is a, how, a time question. So I'm going to take each of those guys, kind of move those over to the side, and I'm going to write down uh, what I know about this question so far and uh, we'll get started on that. So the first thing I'll do is write down a reminder to myself that um, this is actually in a 205 going to form products. The products are not important right now. Um, I will deal with those later when it's a different type of question, but right now I just know this is going forward in the way it says. Uh, it's also following first order kinetics. And that's important as well. So now let me go ahead and point out when you have first order kinetics, the first thing that that's going to lead to, let me go ahead and push this up first thing this is going to lead to is first order rate laws integrated which is the concentration initial over the final concentration you take that ratio you take the natural log of it that's going to equal kt and you also know that for first order kinetics the half life which we show t subscript one half is going to always equal the natural log of two divided by K. So I've kind of got everything I need here to start working these problems. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and set up each problem and start getting through each of them uh, separately. So here we go. Um, let's go ahead and scoot this up again. And let's try part A. It's probably the easiest one. Uh, it just wants to know the half-life. And the half-life is simply going to be the natural log of 2 over k. Remember k is equal to 0.16 for the entire problem, so I'll just put 0.16 here. If you punch in the natural log of 2 in your calculator, you'll get 0.693. You'll also get some more digits which you can leave. Divide by 0.16 and you will get 4.33 seconds. And that is the answer to the very first part. So that was pretty simple. Next part, b. This time we're going to put the integrated rate law and we're going to put in the actual initial concentration of 0.65. We're going to put that over the final concentration, which is what we're looking for, and that's going to equal 0.16 times the two seconds that was given. So to start out solving this, I'm going to immediately just go ahead and write what I know this is. I don't even need my calculator, 0.32. And then I'm going to take the inverse log of each side. That's just to remind you that's e to the x. I'm going to plug the 3, 2 in for that and see what that gets me. And then this will, um, this is the inverse of natural log, so those will just cancel. And so what I'll end up with is 0.65. Let me go ahead and scoot that up again. We're running off the page there. 0.65 over concentration of A equals 
and when you raise e to the 0.32 you get 1.377 and then you can rearrange this such that your a is going to equal 0.65 divided by 1.377 and you'll get your final answer here which is 0 0.4 seven two molar and so that's what we fall to uh, when we run this for two seconds finally the last question and we'll be done is the following part C is we're gonna write the same rate law again put 0.65 but this time we actually have a final concentration that's our target we're going to see how long it takes to get down to this value, 0.16, and we're trying to solve for t. So if you put this in your calculator, you can get that number, and that number comes out to be 123.8. We're going to take the natural log of that number, then we're going to divide it by 0.16, and that's going to equal our time. When you do that, you will get the value 30. 0.1 seconds. That's our time it takes to fall to that value. So there's our third answer. You can see that we've gotten all of them. The third answer, there's the second answer, and there's the first answer. And so it's not that tough. You just got to keep in mind to always use the right rate law when you're working a first order kinetics problem. And that's exactly what that was. And so anyway, that's all there is to it. I will help you out on another one in the future. Hope you have a great evening. Good night.